morning everyone it's day of hey neighbor darling i'm so ready i'm hey neighbor ready i'm not sick yet but i really wanted to see see the shops mafia tomorrow so and jane's bakery but anyways let me bath and then we'll get started with the get ready with me and drinking but yeah this is what we have for breakfast okay i'm about to put my contacts out i got these daily ones by the way got these daily disposable ones which makes more sense um, hey guys i'm done dressing up we are hey neighbor ready period um i look so big in this I'm Shoza. R.I.P. for real, dog. Come look. Come see what I'm saying. There's MK in the background. It's gonna be. She's hey, re, hey, never no, ready. ready. Okay, we're about to go and catch the shuttle right now. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a TikTok. But yeah, let's get the step in, brother. Let's get the step in. Okay, so this is actually what I'm wearing. I've worn this dress before, and this is only my second time wearing it, by the way. Which is a shocker, but hey, you know. But yeah, like I said, lilac is my favorite color. I feel like it's sporty would just be a great addition to the thing. Like a nude sporty. But yeah. Cool, so we're about to leave to go catch the shuttle at Clearwater Mall. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this vlog. It's gonna be a short one, but I'm gonna try by all means to. <laughs> I'm gonna try by all means to capture um, content on my phone because there's no cameras allowed for what God knows. And Kendrick hasn't landed. How do you know? <laughs> How? So what? I'm about to see, guys. Let's wait for Kendrick. What you to unforeseen? Not even due to unforeseen. So my five minutes is taking too late. Then after a while, so just so. Oh, Rasawena, Shitawena. Anyways, bye bye, ni guys. So in this morning, I need life is your code.
Sebastian. Yeah. the following day it's literally like 12 midday it's one o'clock actually and i just woke up we went to hey neighbor we got back at like probably quarter to three that's when like we got home um kendrick's performance was amazing downside of things okay things that i honestly did not like about the festival is that um Okay, there was just obviously like an inevitable event because like everything just became delayed because of the wind. <clears throat> there was like strong winds yesterday. Yo, there were really strong winds yesterday. Um, so like everything had to stop because I think the main stage was also about to fall. So they just had to stop performances and resume performances um, performances in other stages. Got an, uh, another stage so that... Um, yeah we can pretty much listen there but i think it was obviously kind of boring because then at that time like it delayed time wise and also artists had to perform together at the same time like we had venom performing the same time as ph so they had to have a joint set that's what i'm saying and for me that was like ugh, boring you know you wouldn't really get to listen to someone's set you know like fully get to listen to like how venom plays or how ph plays because you don't know who's playing Sneeny it's venom, sneeny it's pH, sneeny it's venom, sneeny it's pH. So it's like, but they still killed it though. Um, so yeah, time wise things were delayed, of course. Um, what else? Um, I think I just also hated this whole stage thing because then it makes sense for it to be like a hip hop side. Like, hip hop stage has its own stage, and then house side has its own stage. So we know that there it was like three different stages that are completely far apart. The walking there. My feet were so sore by the end of the night. Like, I was like, no ways. 
it was inevitable that you're gonna miss a whole lot of performances i for one yesterday missed a whole lot of performances and nakona i feel like they also didn't stick to the lineup thing because shikana was supposed to probably perform it earlier on and then now she's performing at seven for example so it's like who's actually performing you know what i'm saying like you'd have to actually physically go to a different stage to actually see who's performing because they were weren't also sticking to the time periods and the lineups so that kind of bored me as well um what else um venue wise i guess i feel like two stages was honestly gonna be enough hey like a main stage and a separate stage because now we had three stages and the walking there is like a lot i don't wanna like like the stages are far apart the stages are far apart i swear like it's like you're walking to different continents at this point that's how far apart they were like my feet was so sore by the end of the night by the way i'm having some blueberries to actually wake me up because um my sister and i are still deciding if we want to go to the last day today is sunday by the way we still deciding if we want to go to the last day yeah <laughs> okay she's like we should get the tickets so we're gonna be we're gonna be going to the third day to see swedish house mafia and james i am worried about the weather though because it is raining but overall kendrick's performance was amazing kendrick's performance was the best thing in the world truly loved it blackie set it up mr bit of Foka got a bit of a nutty <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> i didn't really get to experience like a whole lot of performances like i'm telling you guys huh but anyways hope you guys did enjoy this vlog thank you so much for watching um it's a nice event to go to i think next time i would really want to camp or like get a hotel nearby because that place is far also one thing that i forgot we took a park and ride the bus that we got into on our way there guys we could have gotten there way earlier the bus was the ghettoest shit ever it's like at some point i was just like no we're gonna break down at this point because the driver was driving on the yellow line it was ghetto and we are still doing vlogmas okay we're still doing vlogmas please don't ever think that i'm here to play i'm not we're still doing vlogmas so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy let me just go get my ticket hey guys welcome back to a new vlog uh today's sunday day two which is officially day three of Hey Neighbor, but it's day two for MK and I. Uh, we are going to go see Swedish House Mafia. We're looking tired because we got back home in the early hours of today. And then we're leaving again right now. It's going to two, to go to PTA again and repeat again. Hopefully this time it's going to be a better experience.
Anyways, morning guys. <laughs> it's the following morning after a hey neighbor day three. So it's Monday today technically. Yesterday was Sunday, we went to a neighbor. And when I tell you that I had the worst day there, like when I tell you that I had the worst day there, you'd think I'm making it up like dead ass. So, <laughs> at this point, I don't even know what to say. Anyways, we went to Hey Neighbor, guys. This time we drove to Hey Neighbor. Like, we didn't use the pocket drive. Uh, we got there to Pretoria and it was pouring. Like, it was pouring. And by pouring, I mean pouring. Like, it was pouring. Didn't have an umbrella, no raincoat. Like, we just, I really just want to say we're not prepared for that weather. Like, it's just something that we just didn't imagine. So, because I think in the next, wait, today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the, yeah, next three days. So this coming Thursday, today's Monday, this coming Thursday, there's that, um, there's that thing, Kotaga's Milk, Kevin Momo featuring Tugzin or something like that happening. So yeah, that would be great to obviously go and like see Kevin Momo. I'm not sure. I've never really heard about Saxon. I think I've heard of him, but I haven't like heard his <laughs> The point of the story is that like, as I was telling you guys in the intro that I wanted to go to Hey Neighbor for Swedish House Mafia. And when I tell you that is the reason why I bought the tickets, I bought the ticket for Swedish House Mafia and for James Vickery. <sighs> when I tell you that James like when I saw James perform, I had like so much fun. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Moral of the story is while her was performing, does your girl not get mugged? Like, I got mugged, guys. My phone, my bank card, like, I was just like, this shit is actually, like, I I'm in disbelief. Like, at this point in time, like, I'm in disbelief. Like, genuinely in disbelief. Like, genuinely in disbelief like i don't believe this shit you know what i'm saying and considering that i had just bought a phone and now i'm back to square one like i felt like the world could open up and i could dive in long story cut short obviously i'm in my panic mode and i feel like god is just so amazing and i'll tell you why guys when i went to hey neighbor saturday day two in the morning that morning saturday um I a part of me was just like you know what dude rather activate the tap and go thing because I just stopped it I just deactivated that thing because obviously I know like when you use your card um, when you lose your card how easy people can like tap you know and like blow your money so like I disabled the whole tapping thing like long ago I was just like from now on I don't even mind I will definitely insert the pin and I will put like insert the card and I will put that pin in like Angina Daba how long it takes I'm gonna do that until this one time I think I saw a TikTok video um of a lady speaking about how a cashier um crammed the back of the card this year's what is it see whatever that pin that four that three digit pin the three digit number at the back of the card and also crammed her card number and then you know when she was putting the pin as well then the cashier stole it yeah it was like a video that trended on tiktok and i don't know if like they used her card details or whatever the case is but like i don't know if you guys saw that video but from there i was just like you know what maybe i should actually activate the tap and go thing so that i can save myself from these things so that it's easier so that's why i thought of doing that saturday morning i'm just like let me activate the tap and go thing so that it's just easier and you know what happened i said nah let me not <laughs> because i think also another thing is that i was kind of in a rush saturday because um we obviously did the park and ride thing so we really couldn't take as much time as we did like sunday as compared to sunday when we got ready and stuff like that so i was just like you know what let me not um so i was like yeah let me not and when i tell you that that was the best thing that i did like guys you can imagine like how my day just got ruined because here i am supposed to be enjoying this festival i'm busy trying to call service providers um using my sister's phone trying to call service providers trying to call the bank to block my card like i'm just there like this lady's just telling me about authentication 
also another advice that i will give you guys one great part about this whole story as well i think the good part about me is that um my the phone that i use on a day-to-day -day, every like my day-to-day -day phone my normal phone which is the phone that i don't have anymore um that phone has nothing like i feel like it just has more it's like more of my content phone so that is like what i'd use to take videos pictures text my family like all those things but yeah emails whatever but it has like nothing solid like banking app it doesn't have all those things like i deleted my banking app from there but obviously it does um i also um some lady also on tiktok i think she also got i don't know i think she also got mugged at some point and she spoke about how she had a banking app and like they stole all her guap like and the thing is she was just saying that your hotspot password when you're about to hot not is it hotspot yeah when you're about to hotspot someone because we usually use the same password for everything so we, mostly your banking app might have that password and other stuff you know so they basically use that password to hack into your confidential stuff so yeah um from there i ended up changing that password and making it a completely different like guys i swear like all these experiences that i've gotten to hear about from other people like i just got to use them but your shame i've just been feeling so bummed out because i'm just like what the fuck like <laughs> like, like what the heck like you know when you're just there and like your mind is everywhere and it's like reality is kicking in also by the way i don't drink so it's like i feel like I, I, I can't even say like I needed a moment to sober up. I was just there like what the heck is going on But anyways right now, um, I just took a part like I've just been in shock guys. I've been in shock <laughs> just... <laughs> Thing with me like, you know, I don't like dragging things into the new week because I feel like I don't need that energy and regardless like nothing's gonna change right now like, you know what I'm saying like me Being down or being sad is not gonna change anything so I'm just like, you know what, like, let me actually go. Like, right now I'm thinking of going to Cresta because my sister's working right now. So she was just like, you know what, dude, I can take you to the mall during lunch. But then, um, so that I can obviously, like, fix my stuff. But then I'm probably not going to manage to get everything done in that one hour because I still have to also get the gifts for Secret Santa. And the thing is, like, um, I'm thinking of going to Cresta because Cresta is most likely to, it's a bigger mall, also has Panda, so I'm most likely to get things that I do need. Um, yeah, so I'm most likely to get the things that I actually need as compared to me going to, like, a different mall like Clearwater or Westgate or whatever the case is. Also, another thing is that I took a day off from work today because I wanted to rest. I was just like I'm actually so tired I need to actually rest and like sleep I literally like need to rest and like sleep because I'm genuinely exhausted like literally so I was just like you know what let me take a day off to actually sleep but then every single morning like even when I take a day off every single morning I have to wake up and do like the morning stuff since I'm the only one who can do that story for another day but moral of the story is that tomorrow we have secret center at work for our year end function which is tomorrow the end function which will be also at the office like i'm so bored of everything like when i tell you guys that i'm bored of everything i mean it we have secret center tomorrow at work and please ask me what the maximum is minimum is 100 rand maximum is 200 rand so whatever gift you get should not exceed 200 rand and the thing is guys our secret center is not like the usual secret center like you getting someone's name and buying a gift for them which for me i think that would have been so much easier because then i would know like if i'm buying a gift for a guy or a lady you know like what am i going for but instead like we're just having a random secret sense i don't know how to put it it's like a game that everyone thinks will be fun where you just buy a gift for that amount and then you give it in and then every person is being given a number like one to eight and i guess maybe the gifts will be labeled like that whatever the case is but yeah everyone will be given a number and then that person has to take a gift so 
the first person takes like the first gift for example they open it and then they have to unbox the gift like in front of everyone and lay it out and then number two comes number two has the choice to take number one's gift or pick a new gift like everyone is just like that is so much fun i mean i get the the part of it being fun but like now on the other end of actually having to think what to buy it's just one thing that is driving me nuts like i'm i'm just here like oh my gosh at this point i have so much to do i haven't even gotten a gift it's an all white party i met like i managed to get um a dress for tomorrow last week the weather is so terrible hotel travago literally what i got today um i went to typo and honestly i don't know why i just did not get a screen protector today i also got a new phone by the way but yeah i don't know why i didn't get a screen protector today and i also didn't get a new cover because yeah i have a cover that is like exactly like my old phone but i don't think i want it <laughs> like i don't think i really want it to be honest I feel like she is on letter like a trauma is on letterly PTSD sana and also like today I didn't buy the exact same phone that I had so I bought it in a different color because and funny PTSD in part is sana so I got this year planner at least this one I can hang it it's written me this year spongebob they had a variety of these but I think I like this cover more two types of people monday morning this is definitely me but yeah this is how it looks and there's also gift vouchers included inside which is fantastic um i got this from typo like i'm literally planning my 2024 like when i was telling you guys that i'm gonna basically book myself into an airbnb and literally have my vision board and plan my year i mean it like i'm gonna do that like i'm just genuinely so over this year and all these things that have been happening this year I'm so over everything, like everything. I just wanted to be a new year right now. I'm just so over this year. So yeah, I got that because like I genuinely feel like I'm gonna book myself in an Airbnb and like plan the new year and pray, like pray, watch Netflix and sleep because I cannot, I can't. Journals. One thing about me, I'm a journal babe, so you need to understand that I'm a I can never have enough journals like ever so if you want to buy me a gift that is not that costly and you don't know what to get me journals stationery I'm just that girl but journals a whole lot more this is the first one that I got um, one of them I'm gonna include for the secret center but I'm still gonna think about it but yeah this is the first one that I got and then I got another one which looks like that um one is gonna obviously be for they're gonna be for different things if i do decide to keep them both but if not i'm probably gonna give this one for the secret santa thing and then this one i'm gonna use it for my day-to-day -day stuff because yeah i need that and most importantly it's just that time to just buy a planner for new year so i got a 2024 weekly wellness diary so it says slow the f down um censored like that this is how it looks on the inside um january 5 4 3 2 1 then it says beginning to practice mindfulness can be a little overwhelming it's all about bringing your body and mind back to the present moment but that doesn't come to us oh trust us we know however this is a quick exercise that you can do anytime anywhere and while for anyone to all you need to do is once a day Pause where you are and focus on five things that you can see, four things you can feel, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. And then also on the side, okay, let me. Okay, here there's personal information that I can put in. And then on the side, as you guys can see, we have the months of the year. Your January, your February, your March, your April till December. Fantastic. I re the reason why I actually ended up buying this journal, even though it was quite pricey, but the reason why I bought it was because of this. Like, I feel like I just really needed this so that I can properly budget and know, like, what my savings are 
and like have a new savings plan for the upcoming year also to just have goals for the new month i feel like i really like a diary that is like this like because then having different diaries for different stuff is something that i genuinely don't like i like that it also gives me some space to express my gratitude also um water intake and habit planner and yeah so on and so forth and then in september we have this press pause this is really lovely quite pricey though for a diary but i guess it's really worth it if you are a person who's big on planning like myself